What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super Superhero Ultimate Gohan. And so here we have the Superhero's Ultimate Gohan pose and out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's run through his accessories. Gohan does come with three different face plates. We do get the stern expression that he has on him right now. We do have a teeth gritting expression. And we do have a yelling expression. He also does come with a pair of fists, a pair of clinching hands, a pair of style pose hands, and a pair of key blasting hands. Other than that, Ultimate Gohan doesn't come with any other accessories, so with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at Ultimate Gohan. So here we have a closer look at Ultimate Gohan, and I have to say, there are a few things that I don't like about this figure, but for the most part, I am absolutely loving this figure. Let's get the big thing out of the way. I think his head is a little bit too small, or at least maybe it's that his head sits too low. Because I have tried putting his head a little bit higher, and it does look a little bit better, but I still think his head is a little bit too small. Like maybe his jawline could have been a little bit better. But for the most part, it's a really, really good head sculpt. It looks a lot like Gohan, and they did a really good job capturing the look of the ultimate form of superhero. So, really do like that. Really do like the spiky hair that he has on him right now. Kind of looks like Vegito's hair, doesn't it? And it's still a really good look for Gohan, and he does maintain the ultimate bang that you see right here. So yeah, really happy with the look of the figure. Again, I think his head might be a little bit too small and his head sits too low, but it's not enough for me to say this is a terrible figure by any means because out of all the superhero figures we've had a look at, I think Gohan here is my absolute favorite. Goku was another Goku figure. Vegeta was okay. Piccolo was great. Gohan right here. He is exceptionally well done. I love it. There's a lot of things to really appreciate about this figure, and we'll go over that right now. For starters, he is using the new elbow joints, so you don't really see the metallic parts peeking through, and it just looks cleaner. I really do like the definition and the sculpt work of his chest, his muscles. They all look really nice. I like how clean the figure looks overall. They did a really good job with that. And it's just really nice all the way around. So overall, really liking the aesthetics of this figure. He does have the black wristbands that we see right here. And those do look really nice. He has a red belt. Because in the movies, Piccolo and Gohan have red belts. Where in the anime, they have blue belts. And one thing I really do like is the engineering they did on Ultimate Gohan. It's much better than Goku, Vegeta, and Piccolo. And I think all three of them could use a version 3 with the uh, technology implemented that with Gohan right here. Because there's a lot of things I like about the implemented uh, parts for Gohan. Like, even right here at his hips, I think his hips are done much better than Goku's. They don't have that cap right here and it's just the plastic his pants that's it we don't have the need for a cap that limits articulation it's just very clean very nice looking even on the back everything about ultimate gohan looks really good especially down to his shoes well yeah i guess you can say ultimate gohan needs pointy shoes but these are perfectly fine i like them the way they are really do like the way this figure is designed and one thing i do like is unlike the other figures where he has a butterfly joint that exposes flesh color or the mismatch color it's actually purple there it's a little bit gappy but I'll, I'll show that off when we have a look at his articulation and how well that is engineered but yeah ultimate gohan here it kind of has the same gi as piccolo while he has the exact same gi as piccolo it's a really nice look for the character and it's one of my favorite looks for gohan overall so with that out of the way guys, let's actually have a look at how Gohan stacks to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Ultimate Gohan posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Ultimate Gohan posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. 
And for one final comparison, here we do have Ultimate Gohan posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger in a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's have a look at Ultimate Gohan's articulation. And like I said, I think his articulation works the best out of all four figures that we've had a look at. He does have a double ball joint here in the head, which I think this is where the head joint problems stem from. The stem on this is very, very shallow, so when you get the head on, it really sits his head low. But it works really well. You can see he gets some nice head tilt, forward and back movement, side to side. It works very nice i do like that he does have a second ball joint here at the base of the neck so he can look down even further doesn't really look back all too well but you can get him to look up when you use all the joints in conjunction with each other he does have a ball joint for a butterfly joint and that actually does improve a lot for his mobility because you can drop that joint down you can swing it around so he does come out like that you can swing it back so he gets some really good range i've actually like cranked this very far back and you can see his arm still looks really good it gets gappy but you would expect that from a ball joint but yeah it works really really well and you can see you can actually get him in some really deep poses something you couldn't do with any of the other figures so i do like that and then on top of that he has a ball joint connecting his shoulder into a cap right here so he, his shoulder is connected to a ball joint there it does swing out to the side all the way horizontal it does go all the way around no problem so even though it has all this mechanical features inside it it still functions perfectly fine we do have a bicep swivel which works great double bend here in the elbows looks really good from every angle and it gives us some really good range i think his wrists have the least amount of articulation next to his ankles where it's only a slight side to side and then slight up and down depending on how you have that joint situated so yeah that could be a little bit better he does have a ball joint here at the waist it's kind of limited because of how his torso is sculpted they kind of sculpted this going too low so that doesn't really move around he does rotate here at the middle of the joint but it, this is mainly for up and down crunching he has another ball joint here at the waist so that does help with arching back arching forward which he gets some really good bend right there uh, side to side gets some decent as well as rotates at the waist legs because they do use this i'm going to call it version 3 hips because this is not version 2 this is like something brand new they kick forward to about right there they don't really kick back because they did sculpt his backside right here so that is something that they are going to start doing moving forward at least from the looks of it legs kick out all the way like you can even you could do this with goku but the caps would get in the way so yeah this is a really nicely engineered figure so i do like that thigh swivel up high we have a double bend here at the knee we have rotation here at the shoe which works really nice then we do have a hinge in the ankle which does go back a little bit goes forward a little bit we have forward facing pin for rocker ankle and then of course of course we do have a toe hinge so overall ultimate gohan has some really good engineering and he looks very impressive i am really happy with this purchase so with that out of the way guys let's get ultimate gohan pose for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review And so here we have the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super Superhero Ultimate Gohan pose for my final thoughts. And overall, really enjoying this figure. I wasn't expecting to like Gohan as much as I am, but the fact that they actually put some new engineering into this figure, it makes all the difference. I'm not going to lie, really loving the way he came out. I do like the way that they added ball joints for the butterfly joints. Those do allow for some really good posing and some dynamic action poses. I think he has the best articulation out of all the other superhero figures that we've had a look at and he looks very good and i think out of the four of them he is the best out of the four and like i said goku was another goku figure vegeta was okay piccolo was great whatever gohan is it's better than great i absolutely love him and the fact that we are getting additional parts to this figure makes it all the better in case you guys aren't aware if you picked up gamma one and gamma two you do get additional parts for gohan you get the cape that he wears throughout most of the movie you get an alternate base form head and then you also get 
the Super Saiyan head, which I'm really looking forward to getting. Gohan here is an exceptional figure, and Bandai really took the time and effort to make him a really good figure. And despite the fact his head is a little bit on the short side and his neck is a little bit too short, I am willing to look past that because the engineering of this figure is great. He could use some more accessories, but as we already know, he is getting basically a, an additional accessories pack with other figures so I'm perfectly fine getting that hopefully with Beast Gohan we do get a special beam cannon hand and a special beam cannon effect for that figure because I think that's the one thing this figure is missing is a hand to use a special beam cannon but other than that absolutely flawless figure I do like it if you are looking for this Gohan, he is available on Big Bad Toy Store at the time I'm making this video. And he will run you about $45, so he's a little bit more pricey than Piccolo, Goku, and Vegeta. But then again, he is brand new, unique tooling. And the fact he has new engineering, I can see that being part of the cost. But overall, yeah, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball and Ultimate Gohan, this is a must-have figure. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other Dragon Ball and SH Figure Arts videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Take care everyone.